we've observed the new particle. We have quite strong evidence that there's something there. So to ascertain its properties is still going to take us a little bit of time. On the other hand, we're, we see that it decays to two photons, for example, which tells us it's a boson. It's a, it's a particle with integer spin, and we know its mass is roughly 130 times the mass of the proton. And this, this is very significant. This is the most massive such particle that exists, uh, if, it's, if we confirm all of this, which I think we will. And, and that is very, very significant. This is something that um, may, in the end, be one of the biggest discoveries or observations of any new phenomena that we've had in our field in the last 30 or 40 years, going way, way back to the discovery of quarks, for example. We see very strong, um, very, very strong evidence in the decay to two photons and a very, very narrow peak in our distribution. Uh, we see also evidence for the decay to two Z particles, which are like heavy photons in a, in a, in a particular theory of elementary particle physics. And then we study in a number of other channels that are reported. But these are less sensitive, and, and the results are less con conclusive at the moment. But um, we're, we're very excited. I'm, I'm extremely tired at the moment, so I may not appear to be as excited as I really am. But uh, the, 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 the um, significance of this observation could be very, very great. It could be ultimately um, seen that its properties are very consistent with the standard model Higgs. Or we may find out that some of its properties don't exactly match the expectations for the standard model Higgs. And if that's the case, then we have something really quite profound here. And it could be a gateway, if you like, to the next phase of, of exploring the deepest parts of, of the fabric of our universe, which is pretty profound when you think about it. And the other thing I would like to say is that uh, obviously all of this is extremely preliminary. Um, what we look for is, is, is a few grains of sand on a beach, in some sense. The, I did a calculation, and if you look at, if you replaced every event, every collision of, of, of the beams that we've scanned or um, had take place in our ex experiment over the last two years, if you let each one of those be represented by a grain of sand, you'd have enough sand to fill a, an Olympic-sized swimming pool. And the number of events that we've collected now that we claim uh, represent this observation are of the order of tens or dozens. So it's an incredibly difficult task, and it takes a lot of care and, and uh, cross-checking. We're recalibrating, and we'll have better results, even on the current data, by the time we publish at the end of this month.